Cancer. I'm hearing doe, a deer, a female deer. And it's interesting because for Scorpio, which I just finished doing their reading, I was also hearing a, a, like a little bit of a jig, a little bit of a tune. So there's something here with the water signs in general, but you know, for you, about like go, like there's some rhythm here in your energy. There's a rhythm, there's um, a tune, there's a frequency that you're supposed to channel into, connect with, to take you to where you need to go. The number 26 could be significant. There's also something maybe about the alphabet. I have no idea what that could mean for you. Um, interesting. There's something about magical correspondences coming up as well. Now, we're going to pull out the tarot and see what your general message is. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Andy. I'm an intuitive reader. I work with the energy and I use the cards to help me translate what it is that I'm feeling and picking up on. So if that's not your jam, well, don't have the tea, which is a drink with jam and bread. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, yeah, but that's what I'm hearing. So maybe there's something about tea even, um, some herbal tea, something you're channeling into. This is really cool energy, Cancer. I'm digging it. Now, something's happening because I pulled out some oracle cards before turning on the camera to sit with your energy, see what's going on here, catch the vibe, and then we're going to get into the tarot. There's something going on that is potentially, I don't know if it's felt by all of you, but it's potentially hard, okay? Some kind of ending, some kind of exit strategy even. But there's something in your energy that's like empowered about this. Scorpio also had a message about, you know, detaching from something, but it was a little heavier than what I'm feeling here. So I don't know what that's about. Maybe some of you have Scorpio in your chart or I don't know. But the cards that I got for you, I pulled out a major arcana card to ask where are you right now on your path, on your journey. And we have the Hierophant in reverse. So this is breaking out of some kind of convention or mold or contract even. It could be marriage. You could be having some kind of split in a marriage. It doesn't have to be that. The Hierophant represents like kind of institutionalized knowledge or structure and rules. It could also be a divine connection with God, with source, but done through a medium like um like a spiritual guru or a tarot reader or a pastor or a priest or um there's like a medium in between you and source even tarot cards you know there's some kind of ingrained meaning uh that you're breaking away from and it's interesting how i opened this telling you i'm an intuitive reader because I do deviate from the card meanings, doesn't mean I don't know them. It's just because sometimes what the card means by the books is not exactly what I'm feeling intuitively. And I trust my intuition more than I trust, I don't even know who wrote the meaning of the cards, okay? So I'm gonna trust myself first. This is a message for you. Um, I'm hearing Taurus here. Maybe there's Taurus in your chart too, but. This is a message for you, Cancer, especially if you're getting into divination or you already are a diviner, okay? There's something about like you not feeling beholden to the tools of your trade. Even if you are, you know, not doing tarot, you're still very intuitive, this is for sure. Uh, and this is maybe about a work situation for you or a relationship. There's something about going outside the box, not feeling like you have to do things in the typical way. Because the next cards that I got for you, Cancer, is divinity and power. Like, hello, the Hierophant in reverse with divinity and power. Whatever this structure, rules, regulations, ingrained meaning is all about, is no, like that knowledge, that way of doing things, or maybe if it's a marriage, is so limited compared to your energy, what you know, what you can do your power. Something's been cramping your style, <laughs> in uh, in other words, and you're getting away from that. Yeah, it's like you're feeling very, um, or you will be feeling like, no, screw that. I, like, I know what I'm worth. I know what I can do. I don't have to follow these rules or be in this thing that maybe society thinks is a good thing for people to do. It's almost like you're seeing the dark side of something that everybody else kind of sees as positive, or maybe it's a person. 
The other cards I got for you is the aristocrat, the novice, and greed. And I feel like this is the high, which is a Taurus card, right? Maybe you are dealing with a Taurus, but, or just Taurus energy in general, which is all about, you know, well, a lot about material wealth, uh, safety and security. But there's something about whatever this energy represents to you, whether that's work or a relationship, whatever, or spirituality, whatever this represents, there's something about it that it's like you see the shadow side of it. It's like maybe they have some status, a following, or something's going on here, right? Like the, people look up to this person or there's something going on here where it's like, oh, this thing is something to covet, something to uh, follow, something to cherish. But what you see is that they actually don't really know what they're doing or they don't have the power that other people think they do. There's a mask here. There's a front. Or if this is about work, there's something going on here that is kind of chaotic, even though other people might not see it. But you see it is the point. You see greed is what you see. The shadow side of Taurus energy, the shadow side of the Hierophant, greed. Somebody here and this could even be an aspect of yourself that you're becoming aware of so you take it however it resonates for you whether it's about you or about someone else usually it's also always about us but take it however even when we're talking about another person um there's something here where it's like oh that person was just doing that so they could gain some status some reputation or some financial wealth or something they don't really have true knowledge. They don't really have a connection to source. They don't really have power. Or maybe you feel like somebody doesn't really have love and goodness in their heart. There's some kind of ulterior motive here that you're witnessing and you are saying, I'm not going to be a part of that. The next cards I got, death is Scorpio energy and then we have this card Maktoum which is Arabic for it has been written it's destiny so there's something destined to end here and then I wanted more clarification so I asked what this is and I got connection so there's a destined ending to some kind of connection you've had with a greedy energy that is nowhere close to your power divinity access to truth and wisdom okay now again if if this is like hmm, maybe it's me <laughs> and you think like oh it's an ac uh, access interesting i was gonna say an aspect of myself but i heard access of myself an axis and that like a x i s <clears throat> if you think this could be about you then it's like you're getting out of something that you realize you were invested in for the wrong reasons Oh, I wanted to be in that workplace because it gave me some status, some title that I thought people would respect, but really it was empty inside. You know, the the feeling that job position gave me was emptiness. So I'm going to, you know, sacrifice that title. You can take that title. You can take that job. And I'm going to go on my own way and trust in my own divine source and power to make my own destiny and connect with those who I truly need to connect with. So it could be that. All right, Cancer, let's see what's coming up for you in the next three months from whenever you see this reading. My readings are timeless. Okay, let's see. Cancers, spirit guides. I don't know if I want to use this deck. Let's go with the Crow Magic. Crow Magic deck. Let's do two more spirits. How you been, Cancer? I love when you're in this energy. <laughs> it's so, it's like so fierce, but so playful. 
don't know. It's very, you're, I always experience Cancerian energy as like very dynamic. You know, you, you're the crab. You move sideways. You go in the water. You go on land. Like you got all the moves. <laughs> yeah. You got a shell. You come out of your shell. Like the, you got pincers too. And you're cute. You can be. The crabs can be cute. You're tasty. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Cancer. Dynamic energy. Yeah. It's like you're too dynamic for the Hierophant. You're too dynamic. This is not going to work for me. I'm out of here. Actually, I know a, a, it's just dawning on me now. One of my uh, best friends is a cancer and she's just gotten out of like a hierophant um, situation, like an institution she was working in because it was stuffy and it's not, it was not serving her power and her divine purpose. Yeah. So that resonates for her. Hi, if you're watching. <laughs> this reading's for you too. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, okay. Ooh. I don't mean to underplay this because this is a big moment for you. And I can see it in the cards. Can we get a little bit more on what this Hierophant is all about for Cancers or whoever else is tuning in? You could have Cancer anywhere in your chart. We have Five of Cups, Distance, and Ether. Yeah, I feel like you've taken distance from this energy. Okay, maybe you're at a distance from this energy. But it's something that made you feel a little bit regretful, remorseful. It could also have felt like a um, me against them situation. You could have felt like someone had some kind of strange upper hand. The fool. I think at one point, Cancer, you wanted to have some kind of opening here in this situation. You wanted to go down a certain path here. You saw yourself as potentially being part of this, but you outgrew it. I also feel like whatever the Hierophant is to you, whatever it's representing, it's like they pivoted as well. Their personality changed or maybe they revealed more of themselves or something happened some discord happened here and it's like the energy took on a new form and it was one of remorse and sadness and just not fulfilling okay yeah stagnancy too okay let's see king of wands for your overall energy we have discipline and devoted Well, this is you being super confident and going for your dreams, going for those goals, not letting anything hold you back. You might be seeing hawks. I'm hearing seagulls as well. <laughs> okay. But you're expanding your wings. You're spreading your wings. I also feel like you're creating some kind of legacy for yourself. Maybe you're unaware of how this is actually happening. You don't know it yet. But there's something um, you're creating or something you're doing that's going to leave some kind of legacy. I feel like your legacy, your purpose, your path would have been lost here in this other thing. Like overpowered, overshadowed. You're taking back your power, Cancer. Mm-hmm. I love your energy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, three of swords for your opportunity. What's this now? Cancer, you're always so good at concealing those emotions. I mean, except when you do open the floodgates. Some of you know my Venus is in Cancer. My MC is in Cancer. Venus in Cancer, oh my goodness, let me tell you what a crybaby I can be. <laughs> But like any Cancerian, those emo uh, emotions, something about Michelle or mush, mush. Anyways, those emotions, the mushiness maybe, can be switched off. Okay, which is actually a painful experience. When a Cancerian, I don't know, maybe there's a cross watcher here. When a Cancerian shuts down, it's 
most, I mean, I'm sure in some instances it can be from a shadow space of like trying to hurt someone. I'm sure that can happen. But most of the time it's because the amount of emotions that that cancer is feeling is just so overwhelming. They, they need to, to preserve themselves, you know, to keep themselves emotionally safe. They need to kind of just shut down and go in their shell. Okay, so when you get to that point where you just dial it down, you turn those, switch it off, you turn those emotions off, it's because you're in a plane, in a plane, in a, I'm hearing pain, like P-A-N-E. I'm also seeing P-A-Y-N-E, maybe this is the last name. You're in a place of pain. Maybe it becomes hard for you to even communicate, to get your words out properly. So the opportunity is the three of swords. And I'm seeing this steel heart here. And it's ice. Yeah, this ice. <laughs> Pain, grief, icy cold. I feel like the opportunity is for you to soften your heart to get out of a situation that made you cold, made you go cold, turned your heart a little gray, okay? This is an opportunity to spread your wings and open your heart chakra, reactivate your heart. Let's get a little bit further on this, Three of Swords. For the opportunity i also feel like someone's losing out here because of their own greed person place or thing they thought they had something over you with their aristocrat all these christine uh the aristocrat aristocrat it's interesting and the novice see how it's like a power dynamic here Somebody thought they had some kind of power over you, but lo and behold, it's you who holds the power in the situation. Your dynamic energy. Tell me more about the Three of Swords for Cancer's opportunity. And also, please help me speak clearly unless messages need to come through, Spirit. The Emperor, Ten of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's like a false emperor, okay? Somebody who is using their power. Uh, it says on this card, overlord and supremacy, <laughs> okay? So somebody who thought they were a little bit of an overlord here or maybe acted like an overlord. And the Ten of Wands card says misery, torment. Nine of Wands card says dazed and confused. Like this is something that you had to protect yourself, Cancer, from some energy that was misusing their power, okay? Creating a lot of grief, draining your energy. You probably felt really exhausted and tired around this, in this situation. And so you had to protect yourself. You had to put a wall up. You had to shut down in some sense, okay? And spirit does not want that for you, which is why... It's destiny for this to end. This connection you've had to this space, this person is just not helpful for you. I also feel like Cancer, you know how powerful you are, but it's almost like out of an act of kindness, you know, misguided a little. It's a little misguided, Cancer. But it's like out of an act of kindness, you said, okay, like I could really pull rank here or I could really put them in their place or I could really whatever, right? X, Y, Z. I could really do this and show them who's truly the emperor. But, you know, I care or I see where they're coming from and I understand and, you know, the softness, this compassionate side of you comes out. And it's like you gave them an inch and they took a mile. And now you're like, well, I can't be having that anymore. This person underestimated you, but you kind of allowed it is what I want to say, Cancer. Now, I'm not saying you allowed anything horrible to happen to you, 
anything violent or anything like that. I'm just saying that you kind of, well, maybe you doubted your own power. You didn't know your own power. Or maybe you just kind of gave a little bit of it away in order to solidify some kind of connection. It happens. Usually when we do that, you know, when we compromise something about ourselves, our personality, or like, you know, we feel like, oh, well, I'm not going to. Anyways, when we compromise a part of ourselves, it's because we've been taught to do so at a very young age, that there was somebody around us who made us feel like our energy, our high vibration was a threat to them or was something that was bad. So we kind of subdued ourselves or we brought it down a notch or we didn't really shine as bright as we actually are. And I feel like this is a situation that mirrored something like that from the past where you're like, oh, this is a situation where I can't really shine as bright as I am because I don't want to overshadow somebody else. Like I don't want to make them feel bad or, you know, I don't want them to feel like I'm in competition or something like this. And this person's a fool (laughs) because they came with the opposite vibe they came with like I'm gonna show cancer how powerful I am it's karmic a little bit okay it's a lesson for both of you whoever this other entity is whether it's a job or whatever it's a lesson for them it's not to under underestimate someone's power and for you it's to not minimize your own power or give it away okay the opportunity the tower On this card, it says, uh, sorry, the energy supporting you, not the opportunity. The energy supporting you. Draconian and forceful. You can bring down the Hierophant. That's your opportunity. And it doesn't have to be on a world stage, although maybe you are doing something like that. You're calling something out. I'm not sure what it is for every one of you. But you have the power to break apart some kind of illusion or oppressive energy some draconian way of thinking forceful there's something forceful you're dealing with okay let me see a little bit more this could be an aries something about identity uh wheel of fortune cycle and fate see just by you moving into a new cycle just by you following your divine path your fate you create a tower in a situation that is a facade Okay, you reveal someone's greed. You reveal somebody's misuse of power just just by you moving into a new cycle, saying, I'm not doing this anymore. So if you're wondering, like, when are these people going to be exposed? Am I ever going to learn the truth about what really happened here or something along those lines? All you have to do is move into your new cycle to follow your destined path, to, to know and feel and use your divine power to move forward, spread your wings with self-confidence here and self-assured passion, I'm getting, to take action for yourself. That's all you need to do to bring the whole house down, to bring everything out into the open. So... That's pretty cool. (laughs) It's kind of a double win. You know, I don't feel like you have to get yourself karmically involved in a situation in order for something to be revealed. You just keep moving on your path, empowered. Okay. Ace of Cups for the challenge. It says rapture and ecstasy. So you're moving forward. You're spreading your wings. But maybe you don't know exactly where you're going. The letter L could be significant or C, but I'm seeing two L's even. Maybe that means like a loss or a loser, two L's. (laughs) Um, Maybe suffered some kind of loss here. That's the challenge. A loss of love, a loss of creativity on some path. Hmm. Let's get a little bit further. I'm not sure, Spirit. What is the Ace of Cups for the challenge for Cancers? 
I swear a card flipped there. There we are. The lovers. Okay, for some of you, this is definitely about a relationship or a very strong, solid contract you had. I heard misuse of power again. The Gemini card here. Twin soul, it says on it, reverence. The challenge is, whatever this is all about, you did have a deep connection with this situation, this career path, this person, this family member, whatever. You did have a deep connection. And a part of you might still be hopeful that something can turn around here or something might you might um, get a return on some kind of investment you put in. And that's the challenge because that keeping faith in this shadow contract is holding you back. It's keeping you from accessing your divine power because you are giving away your power when you do that. Okay, so that could be a challenge for some of you. Sometimes losing faith in a situation is the best thing. You know, no longer holding out or hoping. You come to a place of acceptance. You're like, there's no faith, there's nothing here to have faith with. You know, seeing reality. And not only reality of the past and the present, but also the reality of the future. What would your future look like if you continued to go down the this Hierophant energy with this Hierophant in the future? What would it look like for you if everything stayed as, as it has always been or as it has been? What would your future look like? Because I don't think it's one you want, really. It's like what you want is not what this thing has to offer. You see that it could be there though. Like there is a potential for them to change maybe or there is a potential for this job to get better or there is some kind of potential. But just because there's potential doesn't mean it's going to actually come into form as something that is real. So there's an, a need here to delineate between the potential and the actuality of a situation. Okay? Yeah, I feel like you, you know this. Most of you have already determined this for yourself. Knight of Cups for your advice. Spellbind and Charisma. You are very charismatic, Cancer. You have a certain, or whoever I'm connecting with right now, I don't mean cancers in general, I mean whoever I'm connecting with. You are very charismatic. You have a youthfulness about you, like this inner child, your inner child comes through. There's something playful, like I said, about your energy. And exciting, enticing. I'm being reminded of something I read last night. I can't remember exactly how it goes, but it was something like, we don't attract toxic situations or toxic people because those situations and people are attracted to anybody and everything. <laughs> it's what we allow. Okay, so if somebody's told you you attracted a situation into your life, you didn't. That's what I'm here to say to someone. Okay, about something. You didn't attract this negative situation into your life. You allowed it to keep going. You allowed it to happen. So there's something here about you needing to know that this thing that you're ending, this connection you're ending, is not some kind of um, reflection of your inability to access power or your inability to really feel love or there's no there's not a problem with you when it comes to the shortcomings and the overreach the overstep the overlord energy of this person it has nothing to do with you okay this is something this energy needs to figure out 
for themselves. They brought it upon themselves. It's not a result of something you did, but you did allow it to be in your life. That's what you need to recognize. Spirit wants you to go forward here on your path, knowing how beautiful you are, okay, inside and out, and really recognizing what it is that you have to offer the world. The next three months, the outcome, love this, Queen of Wands. You're moving in to the Queen of Wands energy. I'm hearing area. Maybe you're moving and you're going to find new people around you that are just like you, which is a good thing. Queen of Wands, they share the same frequency, vibration. On this card, it says theorize and calculate. You're going to be a lot more calculating about who you spend your time with, what you get involved with. You're going to be a lot more conscious about it because you have this magical energy. The Queen of Wands is magical, okay? She has access to power and divinity. She embodies that more than the other queens do. And the reason why she has that is not just because she represents the wands, which are passion, spirit, and soul, but also because she takes action for the highest good of all, not just for herself, not just for someone else, but for all. There's clarity of um, evaluating the energy properly. And that's what you're going to do as you move forward and meet new people or get yourself involved in different situations. You're going to ask yourself, is this good for everyone here? Is this good for me? Is this good for them? Is this good for the collective? Like, should I be doing this? And because you ask those questions and you act accordingly, you come into union, king and queen of wands, you come into union with those who resonate with you, that help you elevate and make you um, realize and actualize your full potential. This is beautiful, Cancer. Queen of wands is also very attractive. So I do feel like once you release this constricting energy, something about you just blooms. <laughs> All right, Cancer, I'm going to go into an extended reading. In the extended, we go a layer deeper into this message. If you don't feel like coming to that or you're like, I don't like extended, what the hell? Don't worry. Just trust that you received all the information you needed to hear. But if you do want to come along, the link to that is in the description box below. I love you so much. I'll see you next time.